and welcome to Saucy Cat. My name is Connor, and there's one dish around Thanksgiving that everyone looks forward to. Now, no matter how good the food is, I always make sure to leave some room for this one. So let's whip up a vegan pumpkin pie. Let's dive in. We're doing these pies completely from scratch, so let's get our pumpkin ready. Slice it in half, and then scoop out all the seeds and guts. Then let's slice it up so it's a little easier to handle later on. Now place them on a lined baking sheet and into a 350 degree oven for one hour. Our pumpkin pieces can be easily poked with a fork, so they are good to go. That being said, they just came out of the oven, so let them cool down for about 5 to 10 minutes so you don't burn yourself on this next step. Scrape the pumpkin off the skins and right into a food processor. Let that blend up for a while so everything comes out soft and there aren't any chunks in it. Now that our pumpkin puree is nice and smooth, we're going to give it that classic pie flavor by adding some brown sugar, cinnamon, and ground ginger along with a small amount of nutmeg, allspice, and cloves. Lastly, we want to make this extra creamy and soft, so we're going to add some coconut cream, maple syrup, and also a little bit of cornstarch. Now mix everything together until it's evenly distributed and our filling is ready. Now onto the crust. I'm going to whip up a crust similar to our key lime pie recipe by adding melted vegan butter, brown sugar, and graham crackers to a food processor. Mix it up until you have an almost wet sand consistency, and then get out a muffin tray and line it up with some baking cups. Now take out some of your crust, add it to each baking cup, and pack it down so the bottoms and sides of the tray are almost bowl-shaped. You'll just kind of have to eyeball it, but I used approximately about two tablespoons. Once all of those are stuffed, add it to a 300 degree oven for 10 minutes. Take those out of the oven, add two to three spoonfuls of our pumpkin filling, and back into the oven for one hour. These are looking perfect, so let's plate this dish. These turned out so perfect. Mm. These mini pumpkin pies are so perfect. It gives you all the amazing flavor you're wanting in a small bite-sized bit. Well, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you so much for watching. Let me know what are some of your favorite flavors of pie down in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time on Saucy Cat. Hey, that was a lot easier than I thought. <laughs>